Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Chaotic Committee. As you can see, we have a base over here on the radioactive planetoid. We'll go over kind of what's going on over here, but I just wanted to give a quick thank you to all of you who watch the video and leave comments. I greatly appreciate it. I've noticed that uh, more people have been subscribing. I'm not one of those YouTube people that says, you have to subscribe in every video if you want to great just you being here watching the videos is awesome if you have comments that you know feedback to help me do a better job to make the videos better for those people watching definitely let me know i really appreciate the feedback and the comments and all of you who watch if you feel like subscribing great if not yeah not a worry to me so what do we got we have a salt water geyser this was quite warm, so I have the bottom of the base insulated. I've got it analyzed. Uh, down here, that is also a saltwater geyser. I went and did the priority trick to see what it was. So we got a huge pool of salt water we'll have to deal with. This was active and just became dormant, and this should be just about to become active. So I originally my fire pole was on this side, so I swapped it. Some insulated tiles, this water will roll off into this tank. We then have automation that says once this tank has enough water in it, turn this pump on. It, yeah, brand new base piping's already in insane. This pump then fills up the compressive tank. The compressive tank feeds everything else. I uh, shipped over some super coolant, so we're gonna use that to cool down all this water to keep it reasonable. Uh, these are all run off of solar right now till I can get some more power. This is for food, that's for the base, and that's for the water tank. Obviously, none of this is going to run a huge amount. Once these start running, then I'll deal with more power right now, or more heat. Right now, I'm just sucking up all this water down here. And I'm uh, bricking in the base. Over here, I was left with a bit of a gap, so I'm going to put in some funky shaped ranches for no other reason than I feel like it. That needs to be a door. And then I uh, got some hatch eggs. So I'm going to uh, put in a hatch ranch because I have a feeling I'm going to need uh, some way of dealing with radiation. But I want to keep digging this salt water down. And then I want to get to the beehives today. That's kind of my goal. Two, three, perfect. I can get up into there. And then I'm having the ranches uh, viewable, uh, not viewable, accessible from inside the base because they don't really need to be in suits for pips and uh, hatch ranching. Oh, what else have we done? Oh, one thing I really like is the ability to feed gas without having to use a loader. So my dupes were starting to run out of oxygen before I got the suit docks built. So by taking the air from here, it then goes into the tank. And then from the tank, it then fills up the suit docks. And then I did the same idea over here. So that is just such an easy way of getting oxygen, oh, wrong base, of getting oxygen from the base into the rockets. These tanks were originally holding the overflow hydrogen till I got this built. That doesn't need to be on anymore. So yeah, it's a nice little mini base. We've got, you know, great hall bonuses, recreation rooms, barracks. We even got a, oh, do you need something different for a shower? I don't think a shower gets a bonus. Yeah, whatever. But this should now be ranch, stable. And we'll get them into digging. And then once we can get this water cleaned up, actually I suppose I could just come in from the side and get down into the beehives, just to uncork them. That seems like an excellent idea. And I happen to have a nice little handy water lock right here. All 
Alright, well I'm big. Oh, let's go over the other bases. How are you doing? You're not quite making barbecue yet. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do for the radiation. Oh, water damage, because this is still doing the whole bouncing of pressure thing. That's fine. Have you cleaned up all the igneous rock yet? Nope, you still have a full load of it. There's still... Oh god, there's still tons of it down here. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. How are we doing on insulation? It's a resin nun. We're up to 1.7 tons of insulation. So yeah, the tree is doing good. You know, the barbecue's holding steady, then bounces back and forth. Every time they make a little bit extra barbecue, it feeds the tree. It's all nice and automatic. Uh, Nicola over here. Oh, that's what we can do. Let's uncork this. That's idle, but now this magma's come down enough, it's time to cork some. This should be just about ready to, uh... Oh, please don't take the hot material through there. What is that, granite? Yeah. I'm like, don't take the hot material through the gap. Yeah, so you see that just automatically started up. The automation on this has been working just great. All right, now I can dump a whole bunch of magma down here, which will then hopefully expose some of this and make it easier for Nicola to dig out the obsidian. <laughs> that chunk of granite melted, then turned into a solid chunk of igneous rock, and then soon it should melt here again. Oh, that is doing a mighty fine job of sucking down. No, that's still blocked. Okay, I just want to make sure the sulfur doesn't start going off. Let's get him to work on sealing that back in. Yeah, it should melt any second. Gotta get up to 1411. Oh, and they just ran through. You bastard. They ran through with hot material when there was material over there. Uh, I'm going to have to build the pump. All right, let's just dump some water in there. Water I can get to faster. Yeah, and we still got steel. It happens. Priorities. It's only grams, so I'm not too worried about it, but yeah, it's just annoying when they do that. All right, well, now the pump is pumping. Yeah, that should help keep the temperature down. This will probably get overheated and I'll probably have to rebuild it a couple of times. I don't think I brought any thermium over here. No. All right, I'll have to ship some thermium. Well, we will keep an eye on that over here. I need that and that. 
Oh, I forgot to dig this bit. The reason I, I want a hatch ranch is I want a source of coal in order to get I don't think, uh, the rad tablets. Because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more radiation on this base. You. I've got some pip eggs lying around. So now I can just drop off a single pip egg when it hatches, because I don't have a ranch over here that will plant the trees. I just realized this whole area is unreachable because they can't hop down from the ladders. Now let's just extend that ladder over. There, now they can get to that. And with that, the water lock is done. And now I should be able to get down into the beehives. I think I just want to uncork them and let them do whatever they're going to do. For that, we want igneous rock. How's the radiation down here? Okay, mild. Got a whole lot of ice. Meantime, I'm also going to start uh, trying to make the hatch ranch. Yeah, this started going off. And I'm definitely not getting enough solar. So let's add... Ah, I didn't quite do this right. I need one more power wire. Nope, not there. I want to add that solar panel onto the main uh, aqua tuner. Oh, the hatch is hatched. I wonder what that noise was. Sleeping hatch lights. That's all right. We'll make you a home here shortly. All right. A bit more solar. And this wasn't quite up to temperature, so as this warms up, the steam turbine will do more, and I think the whole thing will just work better. Sure, plants. So yeah, and then having this pool of water down here helps regulate the cool steam vent, which is a pretty big one. And then this water geyser is also quite large. So that's why I'm storing all of the water I can. Right, I told you guys to prioritize this bit, didn't I? Oh, nope. No, I didn't. That's my bad. Do this bit first. And it's gotta get the water level down so I can build the hatch ranch. And then I've I only had to rebuild this once. The temperature is coming up, but much, much slower. And we're down to the milligrams. I probably need to rebuild that with a better water lock. But I don't have to open this very often. Hey, there's magma down here. Oh, that's handy. I think. I, since I start building a uh, research reactor, I don't think I'm going to need heat or power. But we gotta source some more rock. And there we have it. The first beta hive is active. Oh, I wanna slow this down. 2,000 rads, but it goes away pretty quick. And I do not want auto harvest. I can't remember if these drop. Anyway, I'm going to have to ship some lead over here. I just assume it's going to be way too dangerous for dupes in regular suits soon. Now that's interesting. I'm not sure if that's broken a bit slight or just the way they designed it, but there is 
no vislite between the salt biome and the uranium biome. So if I keep digging the salt water down, I can use that to melt all the ice down here. All right, that one's active. Now, I really don't think these things care about their temperature. Like, I know it's usually cold, but I don't think it actually matters. What about the beetles? Do they... Ah, uh, they want it to be cold. Okay, so they need it to be below freezing. Okay, so I'm going to have to put in some insulated tiles. Good to know now before I kill all my bees. Let's see, if I did the math right, how close am I? 104. 103. 2... Ah, it's going to be really close. Trying to get it down to 96 for the size of a hatch ranch. There we go. Down to 96. But these guys already hatched, so I need to be on the lookout for a rancher and a doctor. And that's going to be this room. Let me make a medical facility. We are now making uranium, kind of. The bees are making uranium for us, and we're down to the bottom of the map. And who do we have in the printing pod? Doctoring, but everything else is bad. Bottomless stomach, cook. I do need to cook as well. Eh, nobody particularly good. How's this doing? Kilograms. And it's spaced out, so you just kind of kind of keep going back and forth between the bases. Since the last time we were here, yeah, we haven't made any more insulation. So it is just based on when the eggs die. How many eggs do we have? Three ranches. And we're holding around 40 eggs in there. Okay, now that we're making uranium, I really need to figure out how I'm going to deal with the research reactor. Yeah, 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 you're bored. Like, I know it puts off a crap ton more radiation. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to automate it. And it's going to have to be over here. Or it's going to kill everybody. Somewhere down here, there's supposed to be a carbon dioxide geyser. Assuming it's somewhere over there. I'm just trying to get this dug across so that I can connect my insulated tiles over to the abyss light and then that will keep this all nice and cold. I'm just surprised I haven't seen the carbon dioxide geyser yet. Oh, that's done. I'm just trying to think about how to do the automation because I definitely don't want the dupes delivering. Yeah, and I definitely need some solid tiles for this to sit on to keep this cool. This should make a bit of a mess, but I think all the salt water should freeze. In the meantime, it'll melt some of my snow and ice for me. Yeah, we're making more ice. Another beehive. It's 
that the carbon dioxide geyser? It looks like it. 59 kilograms. And somehow my dupe got on the other side of a sandfall. But we found the carbon dioxide geyser. Yeah, so that's it for this world. I mean, that's pretty much the bottom right there. Nope, wrong planet. Ah, I'm just trying to have a think about the automation. So that should be centered over that. We want to dump liquid right there to cool, to physically cool this. We then have the pipe coming in. That feeds it. Hmm. All right, let me have a think. Actually, what I really need is more coffee. Then I'll have a think, then we'll be back. But we have coffee and we have more dupes. Not being able to dig. Loner, I haven't seen that one before. That'd be a good guy to put on his own base. He's got ranching. A doctor that can't ranch, can't. None of them are good. Anyway. Yeah, that would need to get fixed. Luckily there's no uranium over here, so they can't do anything with that. And I definitely have water on this planet. So this is my idea. We'll have an auto sweeper over here. And doors on automation. So that way... This one can only load the smart storage bin, and this one can only unload it at certain times. I think I saw Francis John do something similar. I'm just trying to limit the amount of fuel I put in this thing, because I don't need that much out of it. Oh, now the plumbing is going to go in over here. It's going to take a, lo a long time to just build all of that. How's your digging coming? We're getting there. One of the pips is born, so we got to wait for that one to turn into an adult. We'll start planting some trees. Ah, uh, it's all coming together. I like that. What do we got going on down here at the beehives? Yeah, using the keyboard to scroll just always seems jumpy. I can't remember if I have to auto-harvest or if they harvest themselves. Metal. I'm assuming enriched uranium shows up. Here, let's harvest. Oh, that's considered ranching? Okay, never mind. We'll wait till we find a rancher. Let's have them prioritize this automation bit and then we'll take a look at it and see whether or not it's actually going to work. And I can show it to you right now, but it's all like that. The general idea is this timer sensor will go off once a cycle. It will open one door and close the other one which will then allow this auto sweeper to grab uranium and put it into the reactor. And this one, during the rest of the cycle, can put the uranium in there. And this says once it has enough, stop. Otherwise, it's a bunch of wiring and piping. It's not like I don't have enough water on this base, so I'm going to dump, you know, a few tons into this reservoir to make sure the reactor never runs out of water. And then the steam turbines will dump, will fill up the tank first and then dump the rest down into here. Okay, 
And as always, a bit of a problem. I locked myself out of my own door, so I need to get rid of some blocks in order to have enough room to actually get to where I need to get to. on you. There we go. Perfect. So I want you to be now 10. Yeah, so that's gonna work. Why does it seem like you can see through that? Oh, whatever. Let's put these tiles back in. That'll probably help. Ooh, printables. Who do we got? Still nobody good. You're a doctor. I really want a doctor that can do something else. I mean, he's going to be busy on the other base, but... Alright, so let's prioritize power next. No, we're just about out of time. I try to keep stuff moving, and I figure anywhere between 25 and 30 minutes is more than long enough. Thank you again to all of those who watch and leave comments, and if you feel like subscribing, that's awesome. But mostly just let me know what you think and what I can be doing better. Now that we're making some uranium, I'm going to spend a bunch of time... Uh, making a research reactor over here as well, which means I need to send more thermium. I hope you all just have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.